Tuesday afternoons with David and Doreen on Radio West Five. Charlotte Carpenter on Radio West Five, Dunfermline and West Five's community radio station. David and Doreen with you through until three o'clock today, and uh, we've got Charlotte on the line just now to chat about her music. Charlotte, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Not bad, not bad at all. You're coming to Dunfermline very, very shortly to the Jam Jar, yeah? Yeah, I am, yeah. Excellent stuff. You're actually based in the West Midlands and we don't know much about you in uh, Dunfermline and West Fife. Can you tell me a little bit about your music? Yeah, of course. Well, I've probably been doing it really um, kind of like full time for the past couple of months um, since I've finished university. But um, it's been something which I've kind of been doing really since I was about 16. It's kind of like pop folk stuff. It's probably somewhere in between Kate Nash and Laura Marlin, a lot of people have said. But um, yeah, it's just me having a laugh and having lots of fun with my guitar, really. Excellent. I mean, it's, it's good you can find work that you enjoy. Where does the inspiration come from to, to write the songs? Well, every song I've written so far has been based upon like a personal experience. So every song is something to do with me in some way, I guess. Who would you say your big influences are? You mentioned Kate Nash there. Um, we were actually saying you, you sounded a little bit like somebody and we couldn't put our finger on it, but I think I think you hit, <laughs> hit the nail on the head there. Um, who would you say your, your other big influences are? My biggest influence is um, a girl called Laura Marlin who um, is massive now in kind of like the folky stuff. But um, yeah, I have Laura Marlin and there's Mumford and Son, Lily Allen. But it's, it's kind of like a bridge really between the pop music you get and kind of all the new age folk stuff we're getting at the minute as well. Uh-huh. I was taking a wee look at your Facebook page earlier on. Uh, I love the picture of you playing at the campsite at the, the Why Not Festival. Um, oh, what, yeah. Were you there for the, the duration of the event? Um, no, sadly no, because I literally, uh, I came back from Sweden the day before and I was going to Cornwall the day after. So um, it was literally just play and then I went around the campsite for a little bit and then got the train back home. Ah, right. I was going to ask you what you would have said the highlights were. Did you manage to catch any big act? I didn't, know. I was so disappointed oh. because every festival I've played this year I've managed to stick around at. And the lineup for Why Not this year was incredible, so I'm, I'm quite gutted, really. Yeah, oh well. Something else that kind of grabbed my attention when I was looking at your Facebook page was uh, Charlotte Carpenter's Tea Party. Can you tell us yeah. about that? Yeah, it's like this little event I have. It's uh, the last Friday of every month in Leicester, and it's kind of based upon the idea of a tea party because we thought, thought it was a, a kind of a good thing to do, like based, like based on the Olympics and like the Jubilee and stuff, everything this year. And um, basically, I host the event as well as playing, and we have like a headline act and a few local acts. And my mum makes tea cakes and cupcakes, and I've made all the bunting. Like it's quite a chilled out little thing, really. But it's kind of a way of trying to get local acts in with bigger acts and kind of um, start like a circle of musicians around the area, yeah. really. That sounds like a great idea. It's nice and informal and, uh, you know, you never know who might turn up. I know, yeah, exactly. We had um, a really good turnout for the first one, so I was really overwhelmed. So hopefully the second one goes just as well. Yeah, yeah. best of luck with that. Mm. Um, how did it all begin for you, Charlotte? How did you get into music in the, the, the very first place? <laughs> it sounds, it's a funny story, really, actually. Um, I've always kind of been uh, performing when I was younger. Um, it sounds really cliche, but I literally was that little girl singing on the karaoke in my bedroom. <laughs> and my mum and dad kind of, they kind of found that I'd developed a knack for it, I guess. And so they gave me singing lessons and stuff like that, and it was really cool. And then it wasn't until I was about 14. And when I was 14, I was a massive, huge fan of Avril Lavigne. Mm. And I went to see her in concert um, with my dad when I was 14. And I just kind of thought, I, I just thought to myself, I want to do that, so... I got a guitar for Christmas and then kind of self-taught my way all the way through until today, really. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> brilliant. And um, Now, that fir- that track we played just before you came on air there, uh, Let It Go, that's the first one you have a music video with, yeah? Yeah, well, there's a little music video online already from, from a track from the EP called Love Songs, and that's kind of like a taster of what's to come, really. And, yeah, there's an official video coming out um, in the beginning of September, I think. Um, so, yeah, the music video will be for Let It Go. So you're up at the Jam Jar in Dunfermline, is it uh, next Thursday? It is, yeah. Yeah, next Thursday. What special things do you have lined up for that gig? Well, this is the first time I've ever come to Scotland to play, so it's kind of special for me anyway, on a personal note, because I, I came to um, Scotland a lot growing up, and I kind of always thought I want to play here. So when I kind of got the opportunity to play a couple of shows up here, I was over the moon. But yeah, I don't know really, I just, I guess, just come and come along and just meet me really, and like chat to me and see me play i've got um i'm working on a new cover at the minute which is quite exciting so i'm doing a cover at the jam jar because i don't normally do them because i like i don't like to force a cover because then they don't work 
Yeah. So I'd... I have to kind of wait until I have a cover that I really, really want to do. So I'm quite excited about giving that one out. One of the things about the Jam Jar as a venue, um, the people who go there are, are people who really do appreciate music, so I'm quite sure you'll enjoy it. Um, can, oh, okay. can, you, can you remind us of all the important details for that particular gig, the, the date, the time, the cost, etc., uh, etc.? Et yeah, it's on, I think, the 23rd of August, next Thursday. I'm sure doors open around 7 or half 7, and it's £3 entry, and I don't think I'm on really until about 9-ish, but... Yeah, definitely do try and come along because I'd mas- massively appreciate it. Yeah, three pounds an absolute oh, bargain as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, aside from your Facebook page, is there anywhere else online people can find out a little bit more about your work? Yeah, um, I've got several videos all over um, YouTube about like sessions or stuff I've done myself in my bedroom. So, yeah, I'm all over YouTube. Just put my name in, and a few videos pop up. Same as Tumblr and uh, Twitter as well. I've just uh, got into the world of Twitter. Oh dear, I, I must admit, I, I can't keep up with it. <laughs> it's it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. It takes over your life. Oh, definitely, definitely. Well, thanks very much for chatting to us today, Charlotte. All the best with the gigs that you've got lined up. Can we play one more of your tracks uh, just before you disappear? Yeah, of course you can. Go for it. Uh, which one do you like? Which one do you think would be good? Probably play... What's the weather like up there? Is it sunny well, today? Let, let's not talk about oh. it. It's miserable outside. So if you've got a track that you reckon would cheer everybody up, that would be that would be the best one. Yeah, play the city. That's quite a summary the city. track. Charlotte Carpenter on Radio West 5. Thanks for talking to us today. No worries. Thanks for having me. Thank you.